What's good? This is Slime Green Beats. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add a low pass filter in FL Studio 21. So, this also works in FL Studio 20 as well. Before we start, make sure you guys check out the How to Make Beats book brought to you by Slime Green Beats. This is available on Amazon, link in the description. So, low pass filters um, basically, all, you, all a low pass filter is, is you cutting out the, uh, allowing the low, basically, like kind of giving a pass to the low and cutting out the high so it's it's pretty easy to do i'm gonna show you like the automation how to like automate it too um but yeah i mean we'll just like do the whole master track just to just so you guys can like hear exactly what i'm talking about first of all when you eq so we're gonna pull up the fruity parametric eq2 um you want to use like the last slot here because fl kind of like it, it like channels it like go it starts from here and it, it passes through these and then this is like the last, uh, like, um, what's the word for it? Like, effect or plugin that FL like passes through. So you want to use slot 10 for EQing for sure. Um, and go to Fruity, Fruity Parametric EQ2. It's real easy to do here. All you got to do is right click, go to type, and then you can do low pass. You can drag it over if you want. Uh, you can click any of these and do low pass. So these are pretty cool. Uh, I, I really like this function. And I do this instead of manually doing it. So like by manual, I mean, uh, let's, let's go back to like default here. By manually, you could go like this too. That's kind of like a low pass filter, like literally just clicking it and dragging it. But um, I, I like to just use this because, it, yeah, it, it just... It's like gives you that perfect curve. So, um, yeah, that's how you add a low pass filter. And let's play. As you see, obviously there's still some high at seven. So you just got to choose like where you want to add the low pass filter. And this is just where you use your ears, you know. As you can see, there's only like the uh, low parts here. I actually kind of like how that sounds for some reason. And then reset, yeah. Oh, if you want to go back to default, then we'll do that. Um, to and then to automate. So if we're just gonna low pass, say low pass here. Say we just want to automate this, and I'm just using the master track. You know, you might do this on just the bass or whatever, but uh, you're just gonna right click on this like this knob here. Uh, this is like the mixing knob, so actually you can like kind of like. This is like the effect of the plugin, if you will. You kind of see how it's like not has no effect. This is basically like it's not working at all to on. And this is also kind of like the automation clip. So right click, create automation clip. And then there's the automation clip. And then, you know, you just get automation clipping. And uh, to just like automation clip settings up here, just click these. If, if you feel like something weird is happening, like right now, <laughs> I like, yeah, see, I feel like that setting is weird. I don't necessarily like that. I like the step more. Yeah. I would probably actually start this completely over at this point. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's how you make a uh, low pass filter. It's pretty easy in FL. Um, next video, I'll do how to do a high pass filter. It's pretty much the same thing, but you select high pass. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. But that's how you do a low pass filter. Make sure you guys check out the beat or the book brought to you by Slime Green Beats. Available on Amazon, how to make beats. This is a classic. And we're still freaking dope. Like, let's see here. Are we still number one? Just to show you guys, we're cold out here. Yeah, we still number one after the sponsored links. Yeah, we still number one. And like... Bruh, okay. I mean, dude, this is the best how to make beats book. Still, since 2021, baby. We number one, baby, on, on the Zon, baby. What's up? Can't get no credit out here, man. Bruh, who gave this one star, bruh? I, I, I want smoke, man. Comment right now, bruh. Who did this, bruh? Ain't nobody, ain't nobody want to show their face, bruh. Who was it, man? Bro, I'm pretty sure I got sabotaged. How is this a one-star book?
This was written by like three good producers, bruh. And me. Like, come on. Like, this is formatted, edited. We hired an editor. We hired a formatter. We got a cool design. It has freaking internet marketing tips. I literally do that for a living. Like, I get, I get, I get, I get the bag on internet marketing. I threw some internet marketing tips in here. Uh, like, come on, man. Links, references, dude. This has everything. This has a glossary. Are you serious? That that glossary used to be online, and it was the number one ranked, uh, number one ranking for music production terms. I do SEO. That's how I know all this stuff. But um. Yeah, that's it for this video, guys. That's how you do a low-pass filter in FL Studio. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Thank you guys for subscribing and, and, and showing support to the channel. Uh, yeah, uh, reach out if you guys have any questions, especially uh, via email. Um, yeah, so take care, guys. Peace out.